Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of used vehicle sales.rav4forsale.com.au. And in this video, I am going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2010 model four wheel drive RAV Cruiser, which is the top of the range one. Uh, it is manual, it is cool, and it is here for sale. So when I buy the cars, what I like to do, get down the side here like this, and I have a look for dents. See, there's no dents up the, pay, up the side. I'm just looking at the reflection. And then have a look here. This is all the clues I'm looking at straight up. See how it's got one of these um, uh, bonnet protector thingies? And if you have a look up this side here, I left the door open before, uh, you can see there's no dents in the panel work. So those few things right there tell me an instant story that the previous owner really cared about the car enough to not get it dented, enough to put this thing on it, and uh, that tells me a lot. Now the next thing I like to do, get under here, see this? See how they're wearing evenly across the surfaces? I like that too, because it tells me all the suspension geometry and steering components are doing all, all that they should, and that the tires are wearing evenly. So we're off to a good start. So, now let me tell you some of the stuff that it, it does have. Look, this one being the Cruise has got those upgraded top of the range wheels, and it's also got these um, side steps, so you can step in and out when you get in and out, if that's what you want to do. Now it is an 11th month, 2010, and uh, let's have a look here. We've got all the power windows and stuff there. Can you hear that annoying beep? Yeah, well that's Toyota's way of saying, you left the keys in there, dickhead. So <laughs> have a look at the condition of these seats. Look like they've barely been used. Let's go, they've got the RAV4 mats in there. It's a little bit dirty because we are on dirt here, but um, it'll be all cleaned up before you take it away, that's for sure. So let's have a look in here. I'm gonna give it a start. And uh, starts and runs, no noises and knocks, which everything's going good. It's got the 186Ks in it on the clock there. Now, I wanna show you over here, this has got the Bluetooth. So here's your four wheel drive lock, by the way. So if you muck around in here with these settings, uh, and then others here, you'll see you've got the Bluetooth going on there so you can then go ahead and pair your phone and you can answer phone calls here and hang them up here it's got the USB and the AUX and all that sort of stuff going on there so it's a pretty cool factory radio those with the Bluetooth and all that going on with them you can control the radio from here, see I'm turning up the volume and it's got a real nice sound system in it actually so it's got the cruise control there, so you don't have to worry about getting tickets when you're on the freeway because you're overspeeded. Now have a look at this. This rocks. What we've got, they call it a dual zone climate control system. So what it's about is this. So when you put dual on and it misses over that side, she sets hers up to like 40, <laughs> whatever, as hot as she could get the bastard. I got it down as low as I can get it, and that way there's no fights. She's not there saying it's too cold, I'm not there saying it's too hot. We just find something else to fight about. So you don't fight about the climate control uh, because you can set the temperature to whatever temperature your side desires. Now that's a very, very handy feature. Um, it's also got uh, that one there which you can see how it automatically turns the fan up. I forget what it's called, but it's got that cool feature that does all those things. You can adjust the fan speed like that. And you've got this one in here, which you push that to close it, and you push it again to open it. Push it to close it, open, close, and you can play all day if you want. Now it's got the service history and all that, so it's all in good shape there. Um, what else have I got to show you in here? Somewhere to put your coffees and all that there, and put your handbag or other stashy items down in there. There's a good look around the inside. Now, it's got a whole bunch of keys, got four keys with it, and central locking and all that's working like it should. So let's go in the bay. See how it's got the uh, tinted windows? Very, very cool to keep the heat out and keep the eyes out of whatever you've got in the back here. So see, there's a good look around inside the back. It is in really good shape all around this car. You're not gonna come out and look at it and go, ew, it's got that thing, because it doesn't have a thing. Everything's good with it. So let's go around the back here. It is the all-wheel drive. There are cheaper versions of these which are front-wheel drive only. This is the top of the range one with every single gadget on it, and that's what cruiser means. So um, having a look in the back here, I'll tell you something that these have which is just an awesome feature. If you need to turn this into an emergency shagging wagon, you just get that and pull it and bang! Look at that! Instant shag and wagon, no need to tell anyone, no one will ever know. Or if you don't want to use it for that, you can stick your mother-in-law's body in there after she's gone hard after you've knocked her off. 
I'm not saying you would, I'm just saying that's a suggestion that you could. And it does have a tow bar if you need to tow a little boat or trailer or whatever it is you want to tow around. Now that's pretty cool, that drop down CD feature thingy. So we'll go for a walk back here, I'll show you how easy they are to pop them back up. You just lift it up, one handed while I'm holding the phone in the other hand. Very, very, very easy to do. So there we have a look inside here. And we've just about done. Now I love these RAV4s, they never give me any trouble. Safety and reliability built into them. Toyota name is renowned for that. And so when the cars come into the yard, there's a whole bunch of stuff we do on them. In the next part of this video, I'm gonna cover off all the testing, all the maintenance work that we've done on this car. I'm gonna explain how all our prices are fixed, which makes it really easy for you. And lastly, I'm gonna tell you everything that comes with the car for the price you see it advertised. Let's go. So when the cars come into the yard, we do six levels of inspection. The first one is we do a road test. We drive it around a very specific test track and we listen for all those noises and stuff that shouldn't be there. Then we do a yard test. And so in the yard test, what we're looking for is that everything works like it should, like the windows go up and down, the fan works, everything in the car is working like it should. And if it's not working, I will have mentioned it in the previous video. Then it goes into mechanical. The mechanic's got a quite an extensive checklist of things that he uh, inspects, things like is the spare tire there and is it fully inflated and all those sorts of things. All that stuff's done and that's what's covered off in mechanical. So that's the third level. On the fourth level, we do a roadworthy inspection. We get an independent mechanic who does his roadworthy inspections on the vehicles. He's licensed by Queensland Transport to come out or do them at his facility. Either way, it doesn't matter. But he does the inspections on them. He gets underneath every single car and he checks all the suspension components and all the things that are required for the roadworthy. So we have a properly done roadworthy certificate by an independent person come out as well. And then on the fifth level of check, we do a quality assurance or a QA run. What happens there is someone who hasn't driven the car and hasn't worked on it, he then goes and drives the car after it's been through mechanical. And he's basically doing a double check like what a buyer would do. They get in it and if there's a noise, they're like, ooh, what's that noise? Or stuff like that. He comes back if there's any of those things then we've identified them through the QA run. And what that does for you is it allows, well from, from my point of view, it allows me to know and stand there quite confidently and know that the car is prepared properly. And then on the sixth level of check, what we do is before the car goes out, um, well so after it's finished the QA, the cars then go out the front of the yard and you would have seen them in the background of the previous part of this video. Um, and they sit out there until they go out. Well, before they go out, we do another level, the sixth level of check, where we just check that the wipers are still working, that the uh, little sprayers haven't blocked up, that none of the bulbs haven't stopped working or any of that sort of stuff. So there's the six levels of inspection that we do on each one of the cars. Now, I don't expect you to believe me when I tell you I prepare the cars like that, but as you could tell from the previous video, we are on dirt. I do not have concrete, I don't have flags, I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you when you come down. In fact, this is me pouncing on you now. So if you're still, hello, you there? Hello, come back so I can pounce on you some more. <laughs> so if you're still there, the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't have all that expensive shit, we don't have the overheads. And it allows me to put the money back into the cars. And that's why but I don't expect you to believe that either. But what you should do is go and have a look at our Facebook reviews and you'll see the vast majority of our buyers are more than delighted with their car because of the work we put into preparing the cars. So with, with that, we have buyers, they come from way up north, like up Cairns, way, way out west. They catch the train down, to, well, they catch the plane to Brisbane, they catch the train to our location here, and then they drive their car off. If they don't, if we don't prepare the cars properly and they fall apart on their way home, they don't get on Facebook and write good reviews. So that's why I'm proud of the level of all of the cars that I prepare. Although I muck around in these videos, what I don't compromise on is the quality and the standard that the cars are prepared to before they leave the yard. And that's reflected in our Facebook reviews. The link is included on this page. So go and have a look and see what the crowd says about working with us. So because of the work we put into the cars, all the prices are fixed. If you turn around and go, hey Dean, are you negotiable? I'd be like, yes, I'm negotiable, but why would you want to pay more? <laughs> so I do that because I seriously, I can't take out what we put into those cars. And frankly, I don't want to. If the cars don't meet the standard or they can't easily be brought up to that standard, I launch them off through an auction. 
And that's why you shouldn't buy cars from auctions, because that's where blokes like me dump our garbage. Okay, so this car has been through all the inspection and is come up properly and is prepared properly. So therefore, I have nowhere to move on the price. The prices are already good anyway, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on and got this video. So the, price, so the prices are all fixed. And the last thing I want to tell you, before I tell you what comes with the car, for the price you see it advertised, is that we need to make appointments to come out. Now, we are not your typical yard, like I said before. We can't, we're not equipped for people just to roll up and walk out. You're more than welcome to come and check the cars out and take them for a spin. I've got no trouble with that. But you just need to let us know when you're coming. We've got a couple of guard dogs that roam around here, and they, we put those away when people are coming, and uh, that way no one gets bit everyone's happy so if you let us know when you're coming we'll put the dogs away we'll open up the gates and um, we can show you the car and you can have a look over that and any others that might work for you whatever you want so please make an appointment before you come out so what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for good question and I'm glad that you asked so firstly is it comes with either six months Queensland Rego or the Rego that you see like the date have a look in the text above it'll tell you the expiry date or six months whichever one it is if you're an interstate buyer give us a call we'll tell you how that works for you we are a large dealer with queensland transport what that means is we have the number plates on site we have all the paperwork all the forms all that stuff so you don't even need to go into the government department and get sneezed on by all the grubs we do all that for you aren't we good so all you gotta do is fill out some forms we stick the paper the number plates on we do all the paperwork for you drive away nothing else to do all that's included in the price you see the next thing is when the cars go through mechanical, one of the things we do is a fresh service. So your vehicle has been freshly serviced and you will not need to do any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed not stolen, guaranteed never written off. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down. And it's also got a current roadworthy certificate. So we have the independent inspector. He's got a license from the Queensland government and he's the one who says this car is in a roadworthy condition. So we've brought the car up to that standard as well. So it comes with the roadworthy. So yes, we do trade-ins, and if you need help with your finance, there is a link up the top of this page that says, no deposit finance. He can put your details in there, and our finance guy will come back and he'll give you a quote on exactly how much it will cost you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. Well, I'm Dean, thanks for watching this video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, or whatever you want to do. We can take payment by cash, by credit card, by internet transfer, bank check, however you want to do it. Best off if we do internet transfer, that one works best for us. Uh, but however you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Well, I'm Dean, thanks for watching the video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, and uh, I look forward to meeting you soon. See ya.